one of the tallest animals out there. Yes, indeed. Giraffe. Tickle skirchy. No, that's the one in East Africa. This is Giraffe camelolipodalis, and it's got a big fright. That's interesting. I wonder if shadow's lurking there. Hang on, let's just go forward. Or maybe a lion. Or maybe it just stood on a thorn. That giraffe has just come across from Arethusa and it was a little bit nervous when it was running when it saw us. Unfortunately, there is something akin to a very large bus driving from behind us right now at great speed. Let us move off the road. This person has the road manners of an ill-educated ape. Go away! Excuse me, everybody, that really is not, um, not, uh, not very good road manners at all. Now, the giraffe was standing here, and then it took off at a great speed. Hmm. Wonder, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. It was, what have you got? The giraffe's st still running. Uh, I don't know that I've ever seen this before. Unless there's something, let's just keep an eye on him. Let's just watch him there and see what he does, if he takes off again. While you do that, I'm going to just scan the old termite mound, any high points where there could be a leopard lurking. Still there, David? Just walking down the road now. Perhaps he's just full of the joys of autumn. I've, I've, don't think I've ever seen that. Maybe he wasn't running from us after all. Maybe he was very offended by the driving manners of that other car. All I heard from behind me what sounded was what sounded like an earthquake beginning. I looked behind and that enormous bus was bearing down. I thought we were done for, David. And then the slightly well, I mean it was a, a fairly aggressive look the driver gave me as he went off. His passengers looked terrified, however. They've clearly been going at that speed over the roads for some time. I think they've just come from the they've just come from the airport and whatever transfer company they booked to take them to Arethusa, I suspect will not be booked on the way home. <laughs>